Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can remove the GDevelop splash screen which is displayed at the startup of your exported GDevelop game. Before we begin, removing the GDevelop splash screen is not illegal but it is highly discouraged by the GDevelop community. GDevelop needs the revenue gotten from the subscription to maintain the software and manage the resources online. So I would recommend you consider getting a GDevelop subscription to help support the software. So with that said, let's begin. For this tutorial, we'll be making use of a new project. You can also do this with your existing GDevelop project, but I would recommend you have a backup of your project. So I'll create a new project. Let's use an empty game. And let's go into our game settings, which can be found in your project manager. Into our properties. And there we go. So right under the game name input, we can see display to develop splash at startup. So if we try to uncheck this, we should get a dialog prompting us to get a GDevelop subscription in order to remove the splash which can be found at the startup of your game. So in order to remove this, the first thing you'd want to do is locate your project where your project is saved. If you're creating a new project just like I did, you may need to save in order to have it displayed in the project folder. As you can see, mine is saved at my project 144 and the project is game.json. So let's locate this with a file explorer. Here I have the file explorer and here is my GDevel projects folder which can be found in the documents directory. So we need to locate 141, 144 and here we go. So here's our project. So now we need to modify our project. You can modify this by using a text editor or a code editor. An example of a text editor would be the notepad and a code editor would be VS Code. I personally would recommend use a code editor as it would organize the code which can be found in game.json. So for this I'll be using Visual Studio Code. I'll leave a link in the description just in case you want to download it. So open this by right clicking and open with code. One hour later. Five hours later. These are the contents of our game.json file. You need to locate the loading screen and then show to develop splash. Here it is. Loading screen and show to develop splash. So presently the value of show to develop splash is set to true. What you'd want to do is set that to false. Just like I've done. And save that. You can save by pressing Ctrl S or going into your file and hitting save. That should do it. Now let's go back to GDevelop, minimize and head back to GDevelop 5. It still displays a checkbox and that's because we need to reopen the project. So let's head into our file, open, let's open the project again. There we go. So now if we go to our game settings, properties and you should see that's Uncheck now. If you export this game now, it should come without the GDevelop splash at the startup of the game. An easier way to remove the GDevelop splash at startup is to find some examples which have this unchecked. If there's some examples in GDevelop which have this unchecked, you just need to find them, and that should be the easiest way to remove this. So, there you go, that's how to remove the GDevelop splash at startup. So like I said earlier, you should consider getting a GDevelop subscription as this would help the software's development in various ways. So thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.